Hey YouTube, what's going on? This is Cheeseboy628 here today giving you week 11 of the NPL series of season 5. So, it's about to be lit. I'm going to send on the PK face real quick. Um, I didn't do a team preview for this, uh, just for a variety of reasons. It's been freaking busy at college, let me tell you what for. But, um, we're here. I made a couple of edits to the team. I'll go over those, also talk about how this battle could be pretty important. Standings currently, I'm in 10 battles thus far. While I'm leading in my division, I am not guaranteed into the playoffs at this point. As you, um, Z means that you guaranteed the division or something. Um, Z means overall seed in conference. Y means clinch division. And then X means that I'm like in the playoffs, guaranteed. But uh, I have none of those symbols, none of those great symbols that I need. So I need to go forth. Um, if uh, my buddy Donza here, who's in charge of LA Nido Kings, he is, uh, I believe he still has a chance to get in. He still has a chance to get in, yes. But this battle would be the make or break for him. So that's a long story short. Um, why? I had max HP. Well, almost max HP. Pretty much. And it went away, so good thing I checked it. Um, but yeah, I changed it from being a salt vest to being sub with really good coverage moves for his team. Sash, T-Tar, but I'm adamant because I want to hit hard. Fizz Def Sableye, Fizz Def Talonflame, because I also think Talonflame's Fizz Def will be good to handle. Um, kept the same Blastoise, I felt its coverage was as good as it could be. And I replaced Latias with uh, Klefki, uh, because I just felt... Maybe it could do a little bit better, and in a lot of ways, I think it can. So, we're going to try our best here, and accept the battle. So, we'll see what happens. I saw he brought, or he recently got Ariados. I don't know exactly what it's going to do for him, but, I mean, obviously it has sticky web, but who knows how useful that will necessarily be. He doesn't have a rocker. But um, let's think about some changes he had. I don't remember if he had Salamence or not. Let me get my Calc here. And also, yeah, he didn't have Mens last time. He had Crobat, so that was probably his exchange there. He didn't have Rotom Cut. Um, he didn't have Ariados. He didn't have Hitmonlee. So he changed his team up a lot, especially in comparison to what I have. So that's just something to keep in mind. Um, Looking at his team though, he really doesn't have a lot for Sableye, to be quite honest. So, um, barring he starts with Rotom, um, I'm in a really good position just right then. Um, I mean, he's totally free to start with Rotom though, and that's of course a problem potentially, but uh, I guess we're going to have to deal. Um, that's probably going to be our situation here. Basically, I'm kind of thinking between Kyurem and Sableye. Um, Kyurem takes hits from basically everything, except for Salamence, though. Um, and Klefki's kind of overall safer, though, but it's just... Uh, is he going to start with Rotom? That would really suck if he did, because then I'm in a situation where he might trick, and then that puts me in a not-so-great position. Um, TY, you too. Um... Let's see, I could also lead with T-Tar, undoubtedly, um, get up rocks, go for stone edge or something, cause um, yeah, that's also a good play. Um, we can see what kind of crocodile he is if he brings it in first, but uh, yeah, I mean I'm sashed, so let's just see what we can do. Like I said, I'm sashed, so if he has anything that's remotely defensive, I should be fine there. But yeah, he starts with Ariados, and that's fine. Um, I'm going to get up my rocks, I think. Yeah, I think that's the best play. That way, it harms everything on his team. He's going to get Sticky Web up no matter what anyway, um, if he decides to go for it. Yeah. So here, I have no reason not to go for Edge. Um, I'll get off damage on something. He brings in Crook. That's fine, but uh, yeah, he just goes down, so that's nice. That's a uh, good start for me, clearly. Um, depending on what he brings in here, it depends, of course, what I want to do from here. I don't really have a lot that 
needed that speed. Um, of course, I have T-Tar, but let's see. Does this thing get Foresight? That's kind of a big question here. Um, even then, though, I should probably just bring in Sableye anyway, because um, I can just get a Willow off, and it's that simple. But I might as well see. Foresight. Yep. What does Odor Sleuth do? Just wondering. I don't know, it doesn't even get it, so does it really matter? No. Um, so what's he gonna go for here? Well, he'd go for Fake Out, he'd go for Knock Off, he'd go for Stone Edge, maybe, even. Um, uh, Sableye is kind of my safest play, I'd say. Um, don't know what his item is yet, of course, but uh, yeah, we can kind of just go from here and see what he decides to do. Um, he decides to go for Foresight. Yep, that's what I was saying. He might have. But, um, that's fine. That's fine, really. Um, if, I mean, if I just went for a superpower, he would have died there, but obviously besides the point. Um, I don't really have a fair switch in. I don't know if he's Lum, you know? So, that's kind of the sitch here. I don't know if he's going to go for Stone Edge. I really doubt he is, to be honest, so that's why I'm going to go to Talon. Um, yep, he just goes for an HJK, and I'm fully Fizz Def, so that's fine. Um, so yeah, Brave Bird is very obvious here. Um, I'm not sure what that's going to make him think. But, um, I don't know. I'm, I feel like I'm... Huh. I'm, I'm honestly fine to go for Sableye or to Brave Bird or to Willow here. I feel like Willow's a little bit risky. Just a little bit, though. Um, hmm. Like, I think Sableye is a decent play, though. He could be Lumberry, and that's why he stayed in. Yeah, he might go to Crook here, so I'm going to go to Sableye. I'm going to go to Sableye and see what happens. I go first, um, so that just means I'm naturally faster, I guess, so that's cool. Um, here I can go for Knock, Taunt, or Willow, those are all good moves. Um, Moonblast is going to hurt though, just like to mention. Um, Crest does have leftovers, keep that in mind, of course. Um, Willow or Knockoff are really my main options here. I think I'm going to go for Willow, though, because at the end of the day, residual damage would be more important, I think, because I have heal block on my cleft key. So I'm going to go... Oh, well. Great. Um, we're going to try again. <laughs> um, that sucks, unfortunately. Um... Moonblast's gonna hurt, man. It's gonna hurt. I think I'm just gonna go to Talonflame, the more I think about it. Um, get off that Willow, and then kind of go from there, see what we can do. But yeah, he decides to call Mind again. We're just gonna taunt here. See what he decides to do. He decides to Psy Shock. That doesn't do that much. So that's really nice. Could have been a lot more problematic if... Oh my gosh, are you serious? <laughs> Great. Like, awesome, man. <laughs> that really sucks. So his taunt wears off. That sucks, man. I don't know what he's going to do here, but I'm just going to boost. We'll see what he decides to do. Honestly, he has a pretty free move either way, but... What?! <laughs> That's so stupid, man. Like... <laughs> what am I supposed to do to that? Really. Really. Um, that's frustrating. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> I'm just gonna roost here. My mouse is still laggy. I got a new mouse recently, and it's really annoying that this is a problem. <laughs> but, um, 
I don't know if this means he... Are you serious? <laughs> oh my god! What? I don't know what to say. This is actually so dumb. <laughs> like, are you kidding me? <laughs> what in the world could I possibly do? I know he has Calm Mind and Psy Shock. Does he have Moonblast? I don't know. And I can't tell. <laughs> this is so dumb. <laughs> wow. Like, that's... <laughs> this saw this created so many problems. Like, I'll just keep trying to roost and hope for the best. At this point, I'm at range where another crit won't kill me. Like, awesome. <laughs> yeah, do you keep calm minding, man. Fine. <laughs> Sableye. I went for five willows. I went for five willows, and they all missed. Legitimately, my only chance here is if Tyranitar outspeeds at minus one speed. <sighs> this is actually so stupid. There's nothing... <laughs> there are certain matches I look at where it's like they get mad about hacks and it's like man like you could have done a different play <laughs> and this is just not one of those times I barely outspeed when I have max speed let alone anything else so um, hope I live a hit like I don't I don't know what to do <laughs> There's, there's nothing to do. <laughs> this thing would not be a problem. It shouldn't be a problem. Like, this, this <laughs> should not be an issue. Yet, I'm dealing with this crap. <laughs> Like, that's really frustrating. I have to sack so many things. I, d I mean, if Talon dies, I have no way of handling Hitmonlee. And that doesn't do enough. I get a defense drop, so this will kill, after all. We'll see if he decides to sack this or not, I guess. <laughs> wow. Um, yeah, you did, <laughs> but don't even think for a second that that balances it out, because this killed two of my mons when it shouldn't have killed any. Not to mention my Blastoise, which handles nearly everything from full. So he has Intimidate, I don't know if that really means anything. He can get up rocks now, which is stupid. <laughs> this is so dumb. Really frustrating. So 
So basically my choice here is can I get rocks up or bring in Talonflame? Like is Talonflame really going to be helpful? I don't know. I'm gonna go for superpower here and hope I do damage. He misses. That's interesting. I killed at minus one. Um, still have Talon alive, which means that I have a chance. <sighs> what to do? What to do, man? <laughs> Should not be as big of a problem as it is. I should keep this, honestly, because Sticky Web's gone, and this is able to handle Crest, especially once Sand goes away. So... I don't know. Going to cure him? See if he bolts into Crest, maybe? I don't know. I don't think he's gonna trick. Let's go to Clef, too. See if he tries to use my clef as a chance for him to heal up. Okay, he goes for screens. Interesting. Already have rocks up on his side. Did I, like, know that? <laughs> or not? I don't know. Um. And I just made, like, a don't play? I don't remember. Like, when did I get rocks up? <laughs> First turn. Okay, that's right. Against Aria, it was. So I was... Was I thinking of rocks earlier? If I said that, I'm sorry, because <laughs> that is not something I should have said. Um... Like, well, what are his other moves? He's got light screen. Probably reflect. You know, he's... I don't know, man. I don't have any residual damage on Cress, which is the most frustrating thing. Like something that I definitely should have been able to deal with. Here I am getting royally screwed over. I mean, I don't have another play here. I can't go to anything because I don't... I just have to keep Crest from setting up, I suppose. Which means I have to go to Talon as fast as possible. Accidentally went to the Skype chat there. <laughs> Whoops. I wonder if there's commentary about this battle because it's pretty dumb right now. Um, I don't know what he's planning on doing here. I mean, if he's just planning on going for a high jump kick, I just, you ought to see what, yeah, yeah, I thought he'd have one. I was thinking about that. Um, clearly nothing I could do about that. <laughs> I'm not in a position to have something to do about that. He has Foresight and High Jump Kick. That's all I know. Um, Talonflame is my only play. Um, just hope Brave Bird kills, I guess. I mean, I could also Roost, I guess. It's really dumb. <laughs> Um, I guess I'll Brave Bird, because he probably might want to play me otherwise. Oh no. Okay. He decides to go to this. I'm gonna taunt him. So he doesn't frickin' recover. <laughs> it's... I'm just really... I mean, I'm not really frustrated, to be honest. It's just, it's just unfair. <laughs> um, nothing to say. I don't know. Um, so I taunted him. 
Maybe he's banded? I don't know. Nothing I can do about it. Um... At the end of the day, Talonflame could still help out a lot. People are screaming outside, it's a beautiful thing, really. Um, if I got the Willow on him, though, that could have been nice, but... I mean, if he's just banded straight up, I'm gonna die, and there's nothing I can do about it. Um... And I mean, if he is, figure it out now, because nothing I have is able to outspeed him. So, if I die here, boom. Okay, he's Specs. No, he's not Specs, he's a life form. Okay. Really unfortunate. Wouldn't need to worry about Specs Blast or er, Salamence if I had Blastoise, which wouldn't even be something I would need to bring in against Cress. Except I missed five Willows. <laughs> I'm I'm telling you right now, there is nothing else. There is no hacks in comparison to what I've just dealt with. I'm pretty sure I won, won that battle right there. So, hope you guys enjoyed um, a very fair battle that was definitely justified in every way. So, bye.